Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at the very first and also important update for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Now this is that large update that I shared with you a week ago on February 16th where the update would start to roll out on February 22nd as it did. And here we are early morning the 23rd where it's arrived and pretty much almost downloaded. Now here are the specific details of this update. It actually breaks it down a little bit more than the update page. So just to get a refresher of what is updating your display will now have a vividness option where now you can personalize the viewing experience with a new vividness under the display settings so we'll take a look at that after this update to see exactly what that looks like also the camera had updates actually quite a few updates so the camera features have been optimized for better zoom portrait mode, nitography, and rear video shooting capabilities. Now I took a few photos and a video right now before this update, so then we can also do a comparison. So make sure you guys stay tuned so we can take a look at the updated camera functions. And then for Galaxy AI language improvements, they also have language recognition and accuracy have been improved for the 13 supported languages. So let's go back to this update page. Let's take a look at the details. This one right here is gonna be your February 1st security patch. The size is 677 megabytes and the version ends in AXB7. Now, as you guys know, with Samsung One UI 6, this is where you can actually take a look at app updates of Samsung applications. If there's specific Samsung applications that you currently love and you don't want to update with this update, you can actually turn them off. But I just have them all toggled on. I'd rather have everything at its latest versions. And here's what they state is a part of this update. Added a vividness option. You can now use this option to adjust the vividness of your screen. Camera, the image quality and sharpness optimization code has been applied. Stability and reliability, device be behavior has been improved. And for security, the device is protected with improved security. Now, along with all of this, we'll also take a look at a few Samsung applications and services to see their changes as well. So I wrote down the versions of software right before this update again. So we'll update this phone we'll take a look at vividness we'll take a look at the camera we'll take some pictures and videos we'll compare them to see if there's any differences and changes and we'll also see what else has been updated in the background also from google now this is a point in the video i like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel jimmy is promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and the latest information on your samsung galaxy devices make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos so now let's take a look at the screen vividness so inside of settings you want to go inside of display and then inside of display you want to go to screen mode and vivid now normally this is where it would sit and then you can tell the difference of your vividness either on or off with those three images but now you want to go into advanced settings so inside of advanced settings this is where you can switch it from basically off mid or max and you can really tell the difference between the off and the max or what used to be off and then on uh, you can also take a look at it here with the ball so here is your mid here is off and then here is your max and then same thing here when it comes down to this barn here's your off here's your mid we're gonna go back to off and then back up to max so you can tell a difference especially from the off to the max and if you were somebody who were, was used to kind of this dullness, more accurate color, more soft colors when it comes down to the Galaxy S24, you don't have to make any changes here. But if you do want to go back to your brighter, more vivid images and display of the Galaxy series, then you can bring it right back up over here inside of your you know, advanced settings. So it's kind of nice that now it's kind of available for anybody and everybody for what other, you know, whatever option they would like to have as either off, mid, or max. Now let's take a look at the camera because there was an update when it comes down to the camera. So first let's take a look for what it kind of looked like with a nighttime shot. So this is where it's kind of dark in the room. This is where night mode is off. This is what it looks like to the normal human eye. And then this is what it looked like with night mode on. Now this is before the update. So again, this is what it normally looked like. This is what night mode looks like. And then after the update, you can see that it got just a little bit more bright. Now, I feel that it's because of maybe this area here that it got a little bit brighter just because of the wall. Uh, but again, that same piece is right here where it didn't get so much more bright. So I believe when you update your phone, your night mode will have just a little bit more strength with it. 
and just keeping everything super clear when it comes down to still the image that it takes. Now next up would be the video portion and all I did for this one was I just hit on record. I hit the 1x, the 2x, the 3x, the 5x, the 10x just to see you know how smooth it is between all of these different lens switching. And then after this, I just did the whole dial. So I pretty much went all the way back down to one and then I dialed it back up to 20X. So we can kind of see again, the changes with a scroll of all of the different lenses. So here we go. You can still see all of the lens switchings, but really we kind of want to look at the quality of what we have here. So it does look pretty good before the update. And then now this is what it looks like after the update. Now I don't see really any big changes when it comes down to switching of the lenses other than the quality of focus once it does switch to that lens. When it does switch to the lens, you can kind of see it change a little bit more, but it's because it's focusing. And then, yeah, so basically, if you want to record on something, hopefully you can get to your zoom first and then hit record. But I will say that the quality of 10X and 20X was better after the update with this one. So maybe in a future update, if they can make it even more smooth between the lenses, but that's going to be very hard to do because the placement of the lenses are in a different spot, which is why it kind of has that little shuffle and change. And then also too, lastly, when it comes down to just photos, here is 1X. I believe this is 5X and then we went to 10X and I really kind of focused right here. I mean, it looks good, but I will state that some of the coloring after the fact of this update makes it look even better. So there is green here, but I believe it to be even a more bright, vivid green after the update. So again, here's that 1X, then here's the 5X, then here's the 10X, as I kind of mentioned. And honestly, this is the color of the water that is out there. So it is actually more accurate than what it was before the update. And then when you really take a look at all of the details, it just looks fantastic. So when you get a really good close look at these two images here, this one is not as accurate as what I saw with my eyes and it doesn't seem to be as clear or sharp. Uh, but when it comes to this one, it does seem to be more accurate. It seems to be more sharp. Uh, and the color is there and then just all the all the, the details and the specifics are better after the update when it comes down to the camera now i also want to take a look at the version of the camera so after some of these updates i like to know what versions we are now sitting on so the camera before the update was sitting at 14.10061 it is now 14.10069 nice okay now when it comes down over into gallery I just want to see if there's another, you know, newer version. Before the update, it was 151034. This is now 151035. So we, there is a newer version of the Samsung Gallery. And then lastly, I just did Samsung Home. So when it comes down to the home screen, this one was 151081, 151081. So no changes when it comes down to the home screen, which there shouldn't be any issues when it comes down to animations or application placement or anything that's going on with the home screens or widgets. So we should be sitting good there. So now that we took a look at vividness, we look, took a look at the camera and also too, there is updates with Galaxy AI with all of its languages, but I do want to take a look at the Google Play system update, see if there is something there as well. So we're going to go inside of the security and privacy. Let's now go inside of updates. And then let's click on Google Play System Update just to see if there is one here as well. Uh, so it looks as if there is no updates. So this one's pretty interesting. Hopefully Google will send an update for their Play System because this is still back on July 1st of 2023. That's a fairly old update sitting there. Some of my other devices are update over into November, I believe. So yeah, there still should be quite a few more from Google, hopefully coming up soon. Now let's take a look on the back end of things to see what was also updated from the Samsung side of things and Google side of things that you basically don't see or hear of. So all I did was I went inside of my software information. Now I'm gonna tap on Android security patch because my device is unlocked. I can do this. Some carriers may lock this, but I can place this link below the video inside the description. So we're gonna go inside of the Android security bulletins. We're gonna tap on Samsung. And then this is where you can actually see what is being updated on the back end of things. So you can see what was updated in January, but here we are 2024, here is February. And on the very top, all of these are here from, uh, from Google. So it looks like one, two, three were critical updates. Underneath high, there's always so many. This is between 50 and 60 different updates on their side of things. And then scrolling down, when you take a look at SVE, these are all of these Samsung updates. So as we scroll down here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So looks like eight different updates from the Samsung side of things, just fixing vulnerabilities. You can actually read a few of these. Sometimes they make sense. There was one that was a improper authentication vulnerability in auto hotspot. So yeah, you can actually kind of read what some of these could be and kind of take a guess of what they were fixing. Uh, looks as if some type of a hijacking vulnerability and smart suggestions. Looks like that one was fixed and, and found. So that's everything for today's video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. I know that I appreciated the update coming from Samsung with it being almost the end of February and we finally got the February 1st security patch. I believe the next one to maybe not be as big and we don't have to wait as long during the month of March, but we will see about that. But hopefully you guys appreciated the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.